So how do we choose the interpolating functions? You know, how do we select them? So again, we have an approximate solution cj phi j plus phi zero where phi zero satisfies the essential boundary conditions Otherwise, the phi j have to satisfy the following. They must be selected. such that B I P J is defined and non zero. That is, they must have the proper continuity requirement. In other words, you know, if we have, uh, if you have a function that say has, requires two derivatives of x, then you couldn't use an approximate solution that was only x because this would be undefined or it would be zero uh, when that was evaluated. So uh, the interpolating functions have to be non-zero when evaluated in the function. Um, so they must also satisfy the homogeneous form of the specified boundary conditions. So that is So if you're given an essential boundary condition uh, that has some initial value u o, then the phi j must satisfy the homogeneous form, which would be the initial condition at zero. Okay. Another thing they must be is so the set of phi j must be. linearly independent. So you saw before we, cho we, we chose some, like C1 equal to x1 minus x, C2 x squared 1 minus x, C3. So they must be linearly independent. So we couldn't show, you know, we, we actually chose x cubed, but in, for instance, we couldn't, we couldn't choose 2x squared 
1 minus x. That would not work. The third requirement is that the set of phi j's must be complete. And so what we mean by that is that if we have a set x, x squared, x cubed, x to the fourth, this is complete. We're in two dimensions uh, where we have, say, x, y, x, y, x squared, y, x, y squared, x squared, y squared. This is complete. But an example of one that's not complete would be like x cubed, x to the 5, x to the 25th. That's not complete. And, you know, an example in 2 would be like x, x squared, x, y cubed. This would be not complete. And so the last one that we're going to write is that phi 0 must be the lowest order function that satisfies the boundary conditions. the essential boundary conditions. And this is a final note. We, we almost always use polynomials for these interpolating functions. But you don't have to. Uh, you can use harmonics um, and other type of functions, but, we, you know, irra uh, rational functions. But for the most part, we almost always use polynomials. And so that's where I'm going to stop for today. <laughs>